Summary The Lilies of the Field B. William E. Barrett William Edmund Barrett's book The Lilies of the Field is about an African-American man and some German nuns who want to build a church in the middle of a desert. Homer Smith is the main character. He goes to the Southern Baptist Church and hates being told what to do. He loves getting his own way. So, he is always going places. Smith buys a station wagon in Seattle after getting out of the army. He makes the car into a place to sleep and then drives across the country. During this trip, he finds a group of nuns in a rocky mountains valley building a fence for their church. Smith says that the nuns are making a mess of building this fence. Homer helps the nuns fix the roof of their chapel after he meets them. But it's hard to talk to them because they're German and don't know much English. He thinks the nuns will pay him in the morning, but they don't. The Reverend Mother seems to believe that God sent Smith to help them build their church. Even though he still wants to be paid, the Reverend Mother doesn't seem impressed and expects him to keep helping until the chapel is finished. Smith isn't sure at first because he isn't a Catholic. But he is very sure that he should help them. He drives them to the town of Piedras, where people speak Spanish, so they can go to Mass. He finds out that most of the people in the town think the nuns won't be able to finish their mission. Smith meets a man named Orville Livingstone. Orville runs a construction company. Smith starts working part-time for Livingstone so that he and the nuns can make some money. He gives the nuns some of the food he has, and he also teaches them English. Smith doesn't know why he wants to help the nuns. He thinks of himself as independent because he does the work on his own, but he wants to be paid for it. Even though he thought it would be money, the payment he gets is not money. Still, he gives his whole life to building the church. Smith starts to get called, Schmidt, by the nuns. As the church project goes on, they get closer to each other. But it gets too hot to work on building the church when the weather gets warmer. Smith takes a break and starts working somewhere else to make money. This job is still about building things. He gives the nuns things that he thinks they can use to make their daily lives better. They are surprised to see him again, and all of a sudden, people in the town are helping the nuns. At first, Smith doesn't want to share this personal project with other people. Still, the town comes together to help build the church. Mother Maria wants Smith to go to the first mass so that his work can be recognized. Smith doesn't want to leave because he knows he won't be back. He sneaks out in the middle of the night. Smith, or Schmidt, as he is called, becomes a famous figure. People come from all over to visit the church, and Sister Albertine paints a picture of St. Benedict the Moor who looks a lot like Smith. 